What's going on everybody? As promised in one of my previous videos, we're going to be talking about grading companies and how Beckett has slowly and surely keep on declining to where they're now the number four graded company out there with people sending in their submissions. Now this was April 2023. As you can see, PSA still at top 1.22 million. SGC almost at 100,000 submissions. But yet, their values of their slabs, and we're talking modern, not vintage. Even vintage, I can understand because you compare it mostly now with PSA. But their modern still sell for less than Beckett from what I was seeing on a lot of different things. When will that change? actually happen where SGC slabs of modern are more valuable than Beckett. I I'm not too sure on that, but people are choosing SGC over Beckett. They're choosing CSG grading by a thousand more, which doesn't seem like a lot, but still another company outperforms Beckett. Beckett, the one time big, big leader in a lot of things with price guides um, you guys think way back in the day when you, they came out, you had all the different four sports that would come out. You had another magazine called Sports Card Trader, uh, Tough Stuff. And then there was another one I'm just not really clicking. I just remember that, those two off the top of my head. But Beckett was always the most sought after because they had individual price guides for each sport, which in return cost way more than picking up all the other magazines like Tough Stuff and Sports Car Trader that carried all the sports combined. Beckett at one time also was real huge in a hobby. You gotta remember they had their own like industry summit where they would invite all kind of people and, and then eventually it just dwindled away to where nobody was either getting invited or maybe they just were told not to come anymore. So as you can see, a lot of people still support Beckett with their raw car grading out there. I think that's where a lot of their numbers are coming from because Beckett is going to all these shows. They're doing raw card reviews. They're grading on site. I have not heard of SGC other than maybe the national grading on site. PSA does go to the various different events as well too, I know. But they're huge. you got to think they got two facilities now. California and New Jersey should be fully functional at this time frame. I know some of you guys have sent me emails saying, hey, my packages are shipping out of New Jersey. I have yet to see one of mine come out of there. Uh, I guess you can see what we're trying to figure out. It looks like TCG might be coming out of uh, New Jersey, but then others get it from California. I mean, what is everybody's thoughts here with Beckett slowly on a decline? I don't think there's much they could do to ever reinvent themselves. I don't care if you hire all new leadership across the board. You failed during COVID. The customer never forgets offhand. It's just, I, I don't think they're going to keep on surviving. I honestly see somebody buying them out eventually to revamp them or add them underneath their umbrella somehow out there. But just not good times overall. I mean, I was looking at, uh, the, well, I'd probably say last two weeks, a lot of people were uh, on whatnot and stuff or, you know, throwing out their nine fives. And they're saying Min Gem, True Gem, Gem Mint Plus, all this stuff. When you look at that, it really has no effect unless you are a, I guess you could say flipper or re-slabber out there. Because then you're taking those subgrades and saying, I think I can get a PSA 10 and this is now 2X or 1.6X. You know, more on my investment that I can flip and I'll make this amount of money onto it. But they've really, really gone down in overall people wanting to use their services. Now, like I said, I think a lot of the 56K is going to be that raw card review into their stuff because people are getting that on to it seeing oh, oh i got a nine or a nine five yeah slab this slab this quick slab this quick for the flip if we didn't have people out there that were doing stuff like that for the quick flips it shows i think their numbers would probably be down maybe ten thousand more offhand i don't hear a lot of people anymore submitting to beckett i hear a lot of psa sgc I have seen some CSG slabs out in the wild out this way, but I would say usually it's like one or two dealers, and it's just that, you know, they can get their stuff returned quicker than the other companies. 
talk a little bit about turnaround times here. The quickest by far is probably going to be SGC that I've seen. Uh, my last submission from me shipping it to back was like two weeks. I don't know. They could be quicker. might be a little bit longer. Uh, it probably depends where you live at, too. might have to add an extra day or two, too. But that's pretty quick for their price range. PSA bulk, from what I've been hearing from other people have graded, it's about four weeks from the time it arrives until they're shipping it off. And then, you know, you got to play the waiting game to come back. So for $19 a card, that's not bad to wait a month if you could sit there and wait that long on to it and you're not at one of the big events out there to hurry up, get your stuff slabbed because, hey, you want to get a quick flip or make some money on to it. Uh, CSG, I'm not too sure because, again, I don't follow a lot of people that grade with them, so I don't know their turnarounds, but Beckett, they have their stuff posted. What I've been hearing is, they will wait till that very last day to grade your cards. So if it's a 30 or 60 or 45 day turnaround, you might even see your submission go into the resp what do they call it? A, a respiratory or something like that. I forget what the word was that was being used out there for a while. But basically it means your stuff is going to sit in their vault and then they're like, man, here comes day 60 and it hasn't moved, and all of a sudden, boom, grades shipping out. So they're adhering pretty much to it. It just doesn't look like you're getting it any quicker. Maybe unless you're one of the big Beckett, I guess you could say, dealers. Maybe you get it a little bit quicker. I don't know on that. But from what I'm hearing, everybody else is saying individually, it's pretty much to that exact uh, business day. All right, guys. Let's take a look at one more thing on to here. This is all provided by GemRate.com. If you guys uh, ever want to use it, it's there. I want to flip back. Okay, so this is kind of cool. On their homepage, when you open it up, it talks about the items graded yesterday, which would have been May 21st, it says. Which is kind of weird, because today, if you really would look at my computer, it's May 21st. But it, I guess it's pretty much yesterday, and it's as of this date here. But PSA graded 37,000, CSG 2.8, Beckett 1.3, SGC none. I would take that because yesterday's a Saturday, SGC is not working. PSA looks like maybe they have some skeleton crews in there working stuff. Um, Beckett, I'm guessing, is more than likely the Dallas card show and stuff like that down there. CSG, I didn't know they would probably produce on weekends. Maybe they're also at the... Uh, Dallas card show. I never hear anything about, so I can't really speak on to it. But it's quite interesting when you start looking at a lot of the data pulls onto this. It's really unique. They have a lot of different stuff on here. You can look at all kind of different uh, pop reports onto here, set breakdowns. Uh, they have a blog that they do. This is a really well put together site if you're in analytics. Oh, I guess I probably should open this up a little bit further for you guys. My bad. Or, there you go. <laughs> Didn't realize that until I looked at my other screen on here. There you go. But as you can see, it looks like, you know, some of the volume overall down day by day. But it, it's going to happen because we have summertime coming around. A lot of the bigger shows coming up. Representatives from some of these companies are going there. And they're pulling from their force down there. Same time frame. You know, employees want to take vacation, summertime with their families, kids out of school. I can understand that. But overall, some big numbers graded for the month of April, as we'll go back and show you that. I mean, 1.22 million. I mean, SGC was down. You look here, 57, they were down. They were down. It's going to happen to where grading companies aren't going to always be in a positive or close to breaking even each month. It's going to depend on specials, deals, and etc. out there going on. But I'm just curious offhand, anybody else surprised that Beckett is now the number four most sought after grading company when it comes into submissions? I'm not. I've been talking about this for... Oh gosh, almost two years now, and I've been pretty silent on to it for a while, probably at least the last four to six months, because I pretty much figured a lot of people are looking at this stuff to begin with. But if I had to ch wonder with a choice on this with grading, I would still go with the premium on top. SGC, if I had some vintage, you know, that I wanted to turn or just get slabbed, 
And then I, I, I probably wouldn't use either the second two. Just because I'm not a big CSG guy. I think their slabs look really nice. Don't get me wrong. They're real crystal clear and everything. It's just their value is not there yet. It's probably going to take a very long time onto it. And then Beckett, it, I don't know. They're just going and falling out. I'm just wondering how long they stay afloat until either they're bought out or like they rehire across the board. And not people that are known in the industry for a lot of blemishes, we'll say, throughout their careers. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think offhand. Um, always interesting looking at this stuff. It kind of makes you think, hey, why is SGC pretty much doubling Beckett slabs, but yet the value between the two, modern, modern, are just not there. Why isn't SGC 10 getting what a Beckett 9.5 is getting? Why is not an SGC 9.5, you know, compatible or comparable with the Beckett 9.5 and so on? But always interested to see what everybody's comments are on this. Everybody's going to have a different viewpoint across the board. I always challenge everybody to go through and read through the comments because you can learn some stuff and you'll see other people's points across the board onto it. And a lot of times it makes me rethink what I'm thinking. I'm like, huh, I never seen it this way. You know, this might be a possibility on something I missed down the road. But other than that, guys, take care. Have a good one. I am out.